Section 5.4, Properties of Logarithms. For the properties of logarithms, well, we're going to look at those, but to do this, we need to make sure that we remember the properties of exponents. So remember that if we have the same base, so a to the m times a to the n, that's equal to a to the m plus n. The reason that that works is, let's look at this example. 3 to the 5th times 3 to the 12th. Well, 3 to the 5th means repeatedly multiplying by 3 5 times. 3 to the 12th means rep repeatedly multiplying by 3 12 times. All in all, we're repe repeatedly multiplying by 3 5 plus 12, which is 17 times. We also see that a to the m over a to the n is equal to a to the m minus n. For example, if we have 3 to the 8, which is repeatedly multiplying by 3 8 times, divided by 3 squared, which is repeatedly multiplying by 3 twice, those cancel, leaving us with 3 to the 6th. Do note, multiplication is linked with addition, division is linked with subtraction. Here are your properties of logarithms. You need to know these. Log base b of two quantities being multiplied together is equal to log base b of one quantity plus log base b of the second. Again, we see addition being linked with multiplication. Log base b of one quantity be being divided by another is equal to log base b of the first quantity minus log base b of the second quantity. And lastly, log base b of, an x, of x to some exponent a, we can bring that exponent out front as a coefficient. So log base b of x to the a is equal to a times log base b of x. We have some examples, but first, yeah, there's some, our examples. First, I want to prove property number one, that log base b of x times y is equal to log base b of x plus log base b of y. I'm going to let x equal a to the m and y equal a to the n. But we'll use b for bases. We know that x times y equals b to the m times b to the n, which equals b to the m plus n. So we'll write this as b to the m times b to the n equals b to the m plus n. What's important to see, though, is that if we take the log of x times y, log base b of x times y, that's equal to log base b of b to the m plus n, which equals m plus n. So log base b of x times y equals m plus n. That's the first equation you want to make sure you know. Well, now I'm going to look at the log of each of these separately. Log base b of x equals log base b of b to the m, which equals m. So we get m equals log base b of x. Similarly, log base b of y equals log base b of b to the n, which equals n. So n equals log base b of y. We can substitute the n and the m in for our equation here, giving us log base b of x times y equals log base b of x plus log base b of y. And there we go. The other properties we'll go through in class. We'll see what those proofs look like. But seeing this should help, and it should give you an idea of why that first property of logarithms is true, and it's tightly related to exponents.